Hey, good morning everyone. I'm going to show you how to use this guy for a St. Patrick's Day a PYO, paint your own PYO cookie stencil. And I apologize, it's so noisy. I'm hanging out at the hospital this week because my mother-in-law had a pretty big surgery on Monday. She's doing fantastic and I'm hanging out in a hallway to pop in and say hi to you guys and do a video. So we're going to go into the Cricut app. I'm on my iPad today. And hopefully the hospital internet hangs with us. Right down here I'm going to click on Upload, Select from Photo Library. And he is in my photo stream. Let's see, right there. First thing I'll do is crop. I've been leaving them uncropped from my photo stream. That way if I want to find where I got them again, I have some kind of a shot at figuring out where I found that from going into my photos. Crop this off. That looks good. And now we're going to remove the background with this remove tool right here. Anything that you'll see right here as you do your preview. You want it to look like that coloring page. So anything that's not coming out like the coloring page, you need to go ahead and click on. And you get this little bullseye that helps you to um, place properly. And you'll see, let's see if I, I did if I accidentally, which I'm going to do it on purpose here, if you touch the black part, it erases all the wrong stuff. So you just hit the undo button here. So this is a little bit of a timely process, not too bad. It really just takes a few minutes, but you got to click on every single little place there. And I'll get all of his background done and then I'll show you how to bridge on this iPad uh, during this upload process so much faster than doing it in Design Space with all of the tiny little rectangles. I do a lot of my bridging during upload. I've gotten to where, actually, most of the bridging that I do is for videos. If I'm doing my own stencils, it's just so easy and fast to me to do a silk screen that I don't even mess with bridging most of the time. Couple more places here. There we go. And then I always check them out and make sure with the preview that I've got everything I want out. He looks great. He has some nice thick lines, but if he didn't, we could thicken those up in the next step with the smooth tool. So now, let's assume we were going to make a plastic stencil out of him, not a silk screen. So now, you would go to the eraser tool, make it small, zoom into him, and every space that is closed, meaning that if you were inside this space, let's say you were standing right here and there are no exits, all the doors are closed, so you're gonna have to bridge that space. And how you do that with the eraser tool is simply by making a line. So now, if you were in here, here's an exit. It's an open door, it's this way to get out. And that's how you would get out of there. So anywhere that you have that closed space, and if I were going to do this for myself, I would probably hit the undo button and I'd go back and I would make that a little bit cleaner. But just for the purpose of showing you how to do this in the video, I'm gonna keep going. So every one of these, that was closed. Now this is a closed space, so we're gonna come into there. This hat is closed. So you come right there. Again, this place right here, I would I would erase that little notch if I were gonna be cutting this right now. Actually, we can use that for our bridge spot too. Just go right there like that if you want. You really just need a bridge somewhere there. It doesn't have to be right there. But 
but since I already had a notch that needed to be out. Oh, sorry about that. I did not turn off my, uh, didn't put it in airplane mode. So I'm gonna need to bridge his eyes. Both eyes need bridges. Go to remove tool. I see a little gray spot right here. So I'm going to use the remove tool and get rid of that. Clean that up a little bit. Just to make sure that that doesn't cut funny right there. There we go. Oh, it's better. So, and I just start, you know, top or bottom. I start at one end and I go either up or down depending on where I've started. So I've got his hat head, this ear, both eyes, so we got to get the face somewhere, and the beard. Back on the erase tool, back on the eraser. Try to get out of the way where you can see this too. There we go, got that, we still need his and of course we're going to need the four leaf clover I'll probably put a couple in there you don't know also you can move this guy around out of your way if he gets in your way somewhere get this foot got this tote the the whatever that is the stem already still got to do his fingers and then I'm trying to see where I think I like the way they look let's try that no I don't like the way that looks so I'm going to undo a couple of times and you can only do undo I haven't counted but you can only undo so many times and then it makes you revert back to the original so you want to kind of keep an eye on it as you go if you like how it looks. Try from over here for this one, over there for that one, and then we just have to do this one. Because I want to make sure that it still looks like his hand in the picture. And what else do we have? I think just this piece right here. bottom and like bottom to top just kind of look down it and make sure that every closed space has the bridges that it needs just making sure there are no places where you could get stuck if you were inside there and I don't think I missed any hopefully I didn't miss any here but I think it looks pretty good I usually go over it pretty hard and next and then again if his lines were super thin you could use this smooth tool and you'll watch his lines get thicker and thicker and thicker you got to be careful with that because he'll start to distort after a while then reset I'm gonna reset him 
he looks good so I won't use it but I wanted to show you how that works in case you have one with real thin lines and then next and you would just save him now I'm gonna save him as Pio Leprechaun Bridged Save Choose him, insert, and then size him for your project. You can, if you were going to, let's say I were going to put him on a circle cookie, I typically will insert a shape the size of the cookie that I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to say edit down here at the bottom, and let's say I have a four inch cookie. I'm going to make that a four inch circle. And then I will place my design inside that. I'm going to turn that white just because it shows up a little bit better for the video layers. Choose my circle, turn it something lighter. There you go. Because he'll show up a lot better for the video here. And then I'm going to make him, if that's a four inch circle, let's say I'm making him 3.25 inches. Oh, nope, he's still four inches tall. Let's make him 3.5 inches tall. I'm just kind of making up numbers here at the moment. Now he's behind and I prefer to see him I'm going to arrange and send a front and then you can choose he's already chosen get the square I mean the circle and him so both of these are light gray over here in the layers panel align center and then for a lot of my pio I'll either move him to the top a little bit or move him to the bottom a little bit move him up a smidge because then I'll put my dots you know somewhere around him so all that's left to do <coughs> is once I know that he is sized well let's see I have a four inch circle he didn't quite fit in my circle too well he is let's make him 3.25 Him. Three point two five. There we go. Put him wherever I think he looks good. Then that would leave me room around him for my pio dots. And I would now I get rid of my circle because I only needed it to see if he fit to kind of visualize my project. I'm going to grab a shape. If this is if I'm cutting them out of plastic and if I haven't pre-cut those squares, let's say I want, again, I'm going to turn that a lighter color, move him to the front, so edit, arrange, send to front, make my square with the edit here, six inches, and then I'm going to center him. Align, center, and attach. So I need to go to actions and attach. So that guy is ready to cut for plastic for a stencil uh, for, like, say, I was putting him on the four inch cookie or whatnot. You would size them according to your project, but if you have any questions at all, feel free to post them in the comments, ask away, and if you have a particular design or image that you would like help with, feel free to uh, post that on the page, and I will see if I can help you out with that. Have a great day!